Over 3,000 woodworkers at Kasia Anglaga in Kumasi, they have vowed to resist any attempt to evict them without a relocation plan. The artisans have been served with notice to vacate the land they currently occupy just to pave way for its redevelopment. The woodworkers occupied this portion of land belonging to the defunct jute factory in 1996 for 24 years. The artisans have been conducting their trading activities without any interruption. But in September 2020, managers of the jute factory served the woodworkers with eviction notice. The notice was ignored because the artisans claimed there was no relocation plan attached to it. On June 1, 2021, another eviction letter was served on them. The news team cited a copy of the letter which states, you are by this notice given final deadline of two weeks from today, that is 15 June 2021, to vacate the land to enable us to undertake a project at the site. But the woodworkers insist they will only vacate the land with a relocation plan. Our major challenge is where to go and continue our businesses. Where are we locating to? That's why we want government to intervene. We are ready to move if we are provided with a new trading place. However, we won't sit on concern and allow anyone to have it out without relocation plan. We are appealing to Asante Hine and President Ekufuado to come to our aid. They should relocate us as was done to woodworkers at Agnoga. We are traders and not criminals. Chairman of the Angola Woodworkers Association, however, confirmed a land has been made available for them to relocate, but there is a boundary dispute over the said land. We are currently occupying about 30 acres, but the land made available for us to relocate is just 4 acres. Apart from it being a wetland, there is also boundary dispute between the chief of Kasi and Atonsu. We don't know what to do now. Meanwhile, the Asqua Assembly says effort is being made to relocate the woodworkers to continue their business. Something